<laughs> yeah, but it, but it, but in Yiddish, really great. Oh, okay. Well, let's give it another minute, Joe, and then we'll start. Okay. My wife sure. makes up words in English. For those of you who are with us already, and if you are new, raise your hand so that we can put you on the list to introduce you. Anybody that's on here now that is new? Shirley was on once. Oh, she was, okay. Yeah. Okay, nobody, knew. okay. Nobody's new. Well, you may, have, you may need to ask that again when they get on. Oh, there, there, we've got, uh, I don't think his name is Diana, but he's raising <laughs> his hand. I think as net. <laughs> So, so we've got we've got uh, Diana's stand in. Henry, I, there we go. We'll Henry, call you, Henry. We'll call on you a little bit later, Henry. So, for all of you, just as a, just if you know how to do it, can you please put your name, your full name, on the screen? And if you need help, I can help you. But it's you go to the three dots and it says rename. And this will help us know who's who was on and we're going to we, we record this and people have been wanting to, to follow up with people. And so this way we know that like Norm, we need to do that. And 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 B cats, if you put your first name on there, Mr. B cats. Um, and uh, Casey is a is on audio. If, if you could put your last name on, we'd appreciate it. What's the dog's name? I can't. You want me to put it on the screen? Is that what you're no, saying? No, I'm asking. Yeah, I made our screen so it holds more people now. What'd you do, David? You went to your own screen? I'm right behind Anita, but <laughs> I, I keep going in and out when I'm next to her. So <laughs> that's only because you have the there. background up. Those backgrounds do that. I always turn off the background when there's two of us. No, he, they were. I, I love my background, and I have phone so phone many phone yeah. calls that use that that I need to use that background because it's a special place in Florida. And, uh, and so I have to have that. What is that, Nita? Looks it's like the Gainesville. At the University of Florida in Gainesville. In Gainesville, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like Gainesville yeah. Yeah. All right, so while we're waiting, there's three boys in the old country back in the day, you know, when everybody was coming over and uh, the battle, metal, and schmetal. And they want to come and they talk to their father. They said, Papa, Mavellum Gain America. In English. So the father looks at the first one. He says, Battle Heistman Buck. That's good. Metal Heistman Buck. Schmetal Zuck. Ich gain it. Meryl is Buck and Meryl is Muck. Schmetal yeah. says, I'm not going. Uh, translate now. Translate. You, have me, you have me scared there, Al. <laughs> no, no. Translate oh, it English. Frank. <laughs> Mike, I have a question of our of panel here, if yes. I could, before we go to the rooms. Um, yeah, I uh, just recently heard a wonderful recording of God Bless America in Yiddish. Sophie um, Tucker. And yeah, by uh, uh, Bernard, no, what was his name? Israel Balin. <laughs> and also a recording of Hallelujah in Yiddish. Yeah, we, I think we, 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 we played yeah. that oh, yeah, a few weeks ago. Yeah, what, what, yeah. Struck, what struck me was they were fantastic. They were so mournful and wonderful songs. They were by, one was a guitarist, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. another one was a, a group of people singing. It was a Yiddish theater. The point being is, did Irving Berlin and Leonard Cohen write those songs in Yiddish originally? No. 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 You don't think so? Did I Leonard Cohen so. speak Yiddish up there in uh, Montreal? Probably. Leonard Cohen? So, so when we, when we have some time, I'll Canada, tell you. Montreal? Montreal? Oh, where, where did he come from? I thought he was Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, it was just, a, it, it, you know, I was thinking about it and I thought I'd ask if anybody knew. Well, well let, let me just tell you a quick one because we're from Charleston, okay? And and you've heard of uh, what, what, what's. Uh, Gordy and Bess. 
you heard a party in Bass and it was Gershwin that did Yeah. Oh, Yiddish. I heard so, it Yiddish. So do you, do you, do you know he, he was sitting at KK, this is a story, I don't know if it's true or not. He was sitting in shul on Saturday morning and he's listening to the, the brachas before the Torah, you know. And then he says, hmm, it ain't necessarily so. <laughs> that I hear is a true story. I hear that's a true story. Anita, Anita, he was at KKBE and they told us that there. So, so. I believe it. So. Uh, anyway, why, 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 don't, why don't we begin? We, we've, got, we've got, I think, most everybody on. I want to welcome you oh, to... Okay. Yeah, well, welcome everybody to uh, this week's uh, uh, Yiddish Alive. Um, as I've mentioned in the past, this is sponsored by the Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs. Uh, we're now up to seven different groups. I sent to you all the last genealogy session, which we do monthly. And um, it's been a lot of fun and, and we have a sports and, a, and they're gonna have one on photography pretty soon and investments and dining, not dining, but cooking. And there, there's a bunch of them and, and, and we can share those if you'd like. So there's a couple things that I'd like to ask everybody. And I think just about everybody has it, but I'd like to make sure that your name is on the um, uh, on your screen by you. And, and you can do that by the three dots in the upper right hand corner by your name, you can put your name. And that's because we're recording this and we also can get information on who was here. So we, we'd like everybody to, to keep themselves on mute. We've, we've got a lot of people. And there's one thing that I would like everybody to do between now and the next session is check to make sure that you have the latest version of Zoom. And the reason for that is that um, as we get to be too big, we're gonna, we're gonna do a couple breakouts. We're gonna have a 100% Yiddish one and Yiddish with translation. I think we'll be okay tonight. We're about probably about 40, 45 people. But if we get too big, and we did a little bit of testing that tonight and we found that people with an older version couldn't automatically pick their breakout room. So we'll do that. Keep yourselves on mute. I'm gonna hand it over to Joe and Alan. Joe is going to um, introduce new people um, and um, take it over, Joe. Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, again, if you are new tonight, we'd like you to either raise your hand uh, physically or on your screen. Uh, Mike, if you see those, you can you can pass the names along to Al and I. Yeah. So I've got Barbara Wind as one person. There was somebody else raised their hand. And uh, we had, was it Henry, Henry Barbara, who, who else? Sharon, Sharon Kravitsky raised her hand so let's let's why don't we start with Sharon let's find Sharon and by the way if you want to raise your hand so that we all see it under reactions there's a place that says raise your hand and this way we know you're raising your hand so it, it, it's just reactions and raise your hand and it shows up like that for me and all unreasonable okay I see Sharon Sharon you uh, you're not muted now I'll try. to America in before the war. On uh, I uh, grew up in Chicago, and I lived in the suburbs of Chicago. Yes, I have one sister. My sister is ten, ten years older than me. On she can read a better Yiddish. She can join in with the Bobby Zayde. On read a a zach better. Ich, ich, uh, uh, dear your mit COVID, ich will read Yiddish and learn in Yiddish. When ich geht uh, alle Woche zu Yivo lessons, ich bin in Yivo uh, uh, fünf Monat und ich, ich, uh, sag besser, uh, ich <laughs> gedanken 
they feel ich kann nicht reden a wert ich will nicht reden a wert before I took classes. So ich, wonderful. Uh, yeah. Wonderful. Welcome. Welcome to our group. Uh, Alan, who else was there? Um, Henry, wasn't there a Henry? Was new, Mr. Fenichel, you're a new person? Henry fin Fenichel. Unmute yourself. Uh, Look uh, inside uh, this uh, I moved the tie to, uh, to, to participate, but didn't work. My Yiddish is alt. Alt wie 60 Jahre. Ich bin geboren in Nederland, in Holland. Durch den Milchoma bin ich and my mother gewesen in Bergen-Belsen. My father is not coming back zurück from. Auschwitz, nach dem Elchoma, my mother and I, ich bin gekommen nach Palestina, habe ich Nederland. Can you please speak closer to your microphone, because we're having a hard time hearing you. Okay. Nach dem Elchoma sind wir geendet auf in Palestina und habe ich getauscht mein Hollandisch zu Hebräisch. In Israel, my mother, my mother, mama, had given a new father, and my stiefvater had only read Yiddish. So in the house, I have learned Hebrew and Yiddish. In 1953, we came to New York, America, and we lived in Brooklyn. And in Brooklyn, is a, a radio stature name of WEVD, a guns and took the uh, home. And, and since my tata, my stiefstata, had read a Yiddish, when I came to America, I had learned Yiddish and English. And now I have to learn English with the Zeit, I learn English a bit better. My, my last fifth. Vor 40, 50 Jahren habe ich, bin ich, habe ich gearbeitet hier in der Universität auf Cincinnati als Physikprofessor. Wie hast du gearbeitet wie, wie in Cincinnati? Ich lebe in Cincinnati und ich bin ein Professor in der Universität auf Cincinnati. Aber ich bin schon ein was called Emeritus, retired. Ah, what's that they get learned What's that? Yes, in, in, in uh, as a learner, there. What's that the? Uh, how do you say? How, what did you teach? Physics. He said it was a physics teacher. Ich, ich bin ein physics professor. Ah, what this guy does. A physics professor, and uh, bin ich, I think bin ich auf Pensier. Aber ich, 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 ich habe noch mein Laboratorium hier und ich arbeite ein bisschen, aber ich, du bezügel mir gar nicht. <lacht> I'll say it in English. You know, I'm now retired after about 40 years and they don't pay you anymore, but they give you a title, Emeritus. So I'm yeah. now Professor Emeritus and what that title gives you, free parking on campus. That's a hundred bucks a year that I've been paying. <laughs> oh, yeah. They oh, say, where you see, where? Yeah, from the Federalist and Steve Salamore folks. Back in it. Jay, you got it, Jay. Are, are you raising your hand? Joe. Who's Joe. Joe. Uh, Joe. Uh, Esther Beckman asked. Yeah, I want, I, I feel so nervous. I feel so nervous. Zaya Shine of Monsa. I have a new cuisine in Charleston. Um, I have Zayda and I have Baba. I have been a reader and a sister. And I have been Barbara Wind and she has been in me. And I have given Barbara uh, to come in uh, to, to the Yiddish group. And uh, Z is due. V, V is Barbara. 
Like the other screen, I think. Barbara, let me find her. There she is. She's here. Barbara, raise your hand. Ah, Barbara Wynn. Ah, Shana Nadella. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Barbara, you gotta go off mute. mute. Unmute mute yourself. You don't know how? Wait a minute. Oh, Let's see if we can. Unmuter. Uh, pre to, press the space bar. Press yeah. and hold the space bar. The space bar. There you uh, go. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about your background. If you can share it in Yiddish, that would be good. Well, I'll, not, try, I'll, I'll try my Yiddish. It's been a very long time. Um, go ahead. Uh, meine, meine Eltern sind in Nuri Weltkrieg. Uh, to America in uh, 1949. Um, and I have read Yiddish with my Baba. My Baba is is the one the only one from the whole Mishpuche who had overlaid the war with my elders. And um, um, I have been um, Zeugen geworden in Brooklyn. Und ich bin, äh, äh, wenn ich hab geheiratet, bin ich zu, äh, äh, ich gewohnt in New Jersey. Um, bis, äh, bis, äh, ich hab ge, bis ich hab ge, retired von sein, die Direktor of Holocaust, of the a Holocaust Center. Wow. And um, and then uh, no name habe ich uh, in, in Charleston. Das ist nicht Florida. Das ist nicht kalt. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so hat nicht, so hat nicht, nicht Schnee. Uh, and um, and ich bin sehr zufrieden zu zu weinen du in uh, Charleston. Wenn bist du gekommen zu Charleston? In um, Ich habe ge, ich habe geclosed auf auf dem Haus uh, in um, January to uh, 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 I I went back in January, the end of January, and then um, and so bin ich bin ich hier jetzt a year, a bit more than a year. Deine Yiddish is is sehr schön, sehr gut. Nicht, dass er geht, aber... Und wie viele Kinder hast du? Vier. Und wie wohnen sie? Uh, sie uh, wohnen in... Uh, zwei, uh, zwei wohnen in... in um, ich rede Irisch, ein bisschen Galicianer und ein bisschen uh, Litwa. Um, weil, weil die Mama ist gewählt von Rumänien und dort hat es gewählt von Novi Sonj, uh, wie, um, uh, wie Esther... Beckmanns äh, äh, hat es hat euch äh, eine Sprache gehabt. Um, so äh, zwei, äh, zwei Kinder wohnen in, ähm, in Maryland, in Rockville und Potomac und zwei wohnen in New York. Um, Sehr gut. Welcome. And Esther, you did a good job. Vielen Dank. <laughs> Aber ich, ich darf sagen, als uh, Reggie hat mich hat, hat mir de, de erzählt von uh, der Irish Club und hat mich gefragt, sie ich will das. Uh, Reggie Giggy? Ja. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shirley, what you got going back there? Uh, ich will uh, fragen Barbara, wie, von wie in Rumänien kommt der Mama? Sie kommt in Kishinev. Kishinev, which is Moldova not yet. Moldova. Moldova. Manimit is from Chernovitz. Chernovitz. And, and uh, Kishinev is Gvein. Um, which is Moldova. I, I, yeah. I think this is Gvein, Russland, and then it's Gvein, uh, uh, Romania. Yes, that's true. Anita, you had your hand up? Yes, and Barbara's house is in the same neighborhood that I was living while my house was under renovations, my old neighborhood. 
Um, and, and so I met her and found out about her being from Novi Sons and made sure that she and Esther met. Yes. I felt that was very, very important. Much. And Barbara, I have children in Maryland. I have a daughter and son-in-law and three grandchildren in Rockville. Oh, and do they go to the Charles Smith School? My oldest granddaughter does, and the other two go to Melvin J. Berman. Okay, because my kids go to uh, my grandkids. Want to say something else? Yeah, How sorry. old is the oldest? Sixteen. And I have a fourteen, almost fourteen-year-old there. My oldest. I can't hear Kenish Herendi. Yeah, McKenish. Yeah. McKenish Herendi. You have an angle in that in, in, uh, hard to hear her. In Charleston, in uh, the college, College of Charleston. Oh, this is their gift. Ichtia Sachmet, the Yiddish studies by the college. Surely. Uh, this is for Dr. Fenchel. In the middle of Cincinnati, I have studied in the in the in you know, uh, University of Cincinnati and Xavier, and I I in some of the vacant areas for some some uh, Aedish event or something. I get actionish, but. Uh, you have a very nice reputation <coughs> in the city. I can't hear She said, why weren't you in this physics class? Nein, du sitzt nicht gewähnt von mir. Ich kenne nur Sprachen. Ich habe studiert, oh, I can't think of it, yeah. Wie sagt man Spanish? Ich habe vergessen. You wow. hope to do uh, uh, Deutsch and uh, Svadit. I weiß nicht, ob Spanish. Spanish. Okay. Spanish. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's uh, take a break. And is there anyone else that's new that we haven't introduced? Any? If you have your hand up, Mike. You see anybody else? I don't see any other hands. Okay. There's, there's two screens here, so. Anybody else that's new, hands up. Once, twice, three times. Okay, go ahead, Joe. All right, and then we want to go back and introduce one of our Altacockers that have been with us a while. Uh, so what about Asia Ezelkop? Asia, Asia Ezelkop. I know you haven't been with us a long time, but tell us again, Zugin Sabisala Nachamold, be the Kim's been wieder aus der Gelehren deine Jiddisch und wieder wohnst jetzt. Um, ich, ich lebe jetzt in San Jose, California. Und äh, ich bin gekommen in Kalifornien in 1995. Äh, zu lieb mein Mann, er ist ein Ingenieur, wir sind gekommen zu Silicon Valley. Und wir haben uns schon geblieben da. Ich bin gekommen von Israel auf Dannen. Ich habe äh, drei Kinder, alle seine Erwachsene, zwei äh, seine äh, Hassene gehabt. Ein Sohn, der lebt in Boston, er hat äh, zwei Kinder, noch. eine Tochter, die lebt in Stadt New York und eine Tochter, die lebt in Sacramento in Kalifornien. Sehr schön. Ich bin geboren geworden in Wilna, in Lite. Und in 1971 hat meine Sprache und Ole gemacht in Keynes Royal. Mein Mann ist ein Sabra. Ich habe gelebt 25 Jahre in Israel und jetzt 25 Jahre in Kalifornien. Ich lerne unsere Sache Sach in der Sachklasse und Jiddisch. Ich lerne unsere Sache in Arbeitering. Ich lerne unsere Sache in Jo Jiddisch Wort. Das ist eine neue zweijährige Schule. A Fidisch in Israel mit zwei sehr äußergewöhnliche Lehrers Miriam Trin und Eliezer Niborski. Er wird etwas Emetzer gehört wegen sie. Und die Lehren? Ich bin in einem anderen Club. Die Lehren sind wie? Alles ist auf uns. 
als es auf dem Zoom. Und ich, bin, ich nehme einen Teil in einem anderen Jüdischen Club, wo es nicht mehr um Fischels Gruppe Und äh, das hat sich angehoben in der ähm, Bay Area. Und es geht dann auch auf dem Zoom. Also wie Eier. Aber jetzt wieder Woche. Dienstag, jetzt wieder Dienstag. Ja. So, es kann sein, alle Tage in der Woche können wir reden Jiddisch. Avade, avade, wir darf nur wählen. Okay, so the problem we have though is we do still have people on the line that don't really speak well. So I see if you could just give us a very brief English translation so that people don't feel like they're totally lost, that would be wonderful. Okay, sure. Um, I was born in Vilna in Lithuania. I lived in Lithuania until I was a teenager. I immigrated with my parents to Israel in 1971. I lived in Israel for 25 years. I married there. My husband is a Sabra. I have three children. We came to California in 1995 because of my husband's, uh, he was, invited to work in a startup in Silicon Valley. We stayed. I have three grown children now in Boston, New York, and Sacramento. I used to be a teacher of English. In the States, I taught English as a second language. I speak Russian, Lithuanian, Yiddish, Hebrew, and English. And that's it. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Shane, I'm done. Okay, do we have time to have another, uh, somebody that's been with us a while? How about Frederica? Can you hear us? Frederica. Unmute yourself, Frederica. My name is actually Bonnie Frederica, Bonnie. my daughter. Ah, Bonnie. And you Bonnie. Get, get, uh, get in Sabisala from Dinah, Mishbuk, and be the Oscar Yiddish. Ich habe gelernt von meinem Baba in Seele Ahim. Ich werde sehr gut, weil ich versteht sehr gut. So ich lache, ich komme zu dieser Gruppe. Wie sagst du Gruppe in Jüdisch? Gruppe, Gruppe. Gruppe. Für bringen. Das ist alles gesagt. Thank you. But we, I live. I'm going in Chicago now. I have five kinder, all crazy uh, kinder. Um, I've been an uh, advocate, uh, a attorney from Madison, Wisconsin, and I was born in the United States. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else like to tell us a little bit about their background before we move on? Raise your hand. Oh, nobody. So, so why don't we move? We've, we've got a lot of interesting things because I think Esther Shear was going to share some more Yiddish expressions. Florence Gold, I've got a, a song that she was going to sing with us in Yiddish. Raz has something that she wants to share. And uh, I think everybody else, there's a lot of people that have uh, interesting stories. So maybe we should transition and move into you know, expressions and songs and stories and jokes and whatever. Oh, Al, Al, lead us with the songs and expressions. It's all yours, Al. A song. Was for our little was the amazing. Who has a song for us today? We I, have, I, I think we have Flor it. Florence Gold. Where's Florence? Florence. You want me to put this up on the screen? Okay, so she asked me to share this on the screen and she's going to teach us a song, a song about Purim in Yiddish. So let's see if you can all see that. Can you all see that? Yes. Ich habe zwei Lieder lach. Die, um, das ist gewen, wenn ich bin gewen, ein klein Mädele, bin ich gegangen in die Yiddische Peritschulen in Montreal, Kanada. Und das ist gewen mein beliebste Liedel. Ich habe uh, Getracht, as es ist also komisch. Ich will singen ein bisschen in Jiddisch und verteidigen in Englisch. Jach nicht wasche vor den Stadt, halt sich in ein Packen. Sie darf euch pur im Käufen mehr, 
Hamintaschen Bachen. So Yachnit Vosche is traveling to town. She keeps on packing, getting herself ready. She needs to buy meal for Purim to make Hamintaschen. And then the chorus is Hop meine Hamintaschen. Hop meine. And then in English, hop my homentaschen, hop my white ones, hop with my homentaschen, a story happened. Skate the red and skate the schnee. Kapet von die Echer, Yachnit, der Schwein, Born Mel. In the Zach mit Lecher. So it's raining, it's snowing, it's pouring from the rooftops. And Yachna is now carrying cornmeal in a sack with holes. And then it's the chorus again. And then the last verse, Yachna truck joint shalach mones to der mome yen te zwei drei schwarze homentaschen halbroi halbfar brente. Yeah, <laughs> finally bringing shalach mones to her aunt Yente. Two or three black homentaschen, half raw and half burnt. <laughs> have the other song. What is Shalakmonis? Shalakmonis is on Purim. You bring, when I was a little girl, my mother, my, my mama had gemacht kreplach for Purim, and ich hab sie gebrengt zu meine um, Familie. My mime and uh, ich hab gehad zwei mimes auf den selben Block. Mm -hmm. um, so es kann sein Homentaschen, um, Zekerkis, yeah. Homentaschen. Candy. I, I just want to say the word so he understands. Shalach manot is from Hebrew, sending of presents. Send, and you send money or you send food usually. So Yiddish shalach monis is ah. shalach manot. Manot are presents. Shalach that you send. But you Yid, the Yiddish, they made it into Yiddish. Shalach monis. Sorry, I just, it's a very Thank common you. word that we use. So we've got one more song here. Let's see if I can find it here. While he's looking for it, this is an interesting song because the music is by Avram Baden. Does anyone know who Avram Baden was? He was Hello. the father of the Yiddish theater. Yeah. He erhot funded the Yiddish theater in Romania in 1876, when er is gestorben in 1908 in New York. Er hat, um, when did he die? When, when did he die? 1908. 1908. Wow. Er hat nicht gekannt um, schreiben music noten. He did not know how to write music notes. And er hat Nishke spielt kein Instrument. He did not know how to play any instruments. Aber er is der Vater von Jiddischen Theater. He's the father of Yiddish theater. Und er hat geschrieben a Sach Liederlach. Um, we wrote a lot of songs. One of the most famous is Rojinke Smith Mandlin. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, he wrote that. Wow. And um, Das Liedele is Heintis Purim. Today it's Purim. Purim wird sein dem 25. in dem Jahr in Sentog. Heintis Purim Today it's Purim, brothers. It's a big holiday. Let's sing songs and go from house to house. So the custom, and I was in Israel. The first trip I made to Israel was 38 years ago. This is given Purim. Und die Kinder lachen given wie Halloween. They gain hoist zu hoist und kriegen Zekerkis und Homentaschen. So they go house to house in Israel on Purim. They dress in costumes and they get um, candy. Lach yidele lach, ayon tovel mach, kinskin der gedenkche dem nest, sing, breeder lach sing, tanz frey lach und springt, 
them tire and talk knit far guest. Laugh, little, eat a little laugh. Um, have a, a little holiday. Kins kinder, children's children, remember the miracle. Sing, little brother, sing. Dance happy and jump. The dear day, don't forget. And I'll end with... <laughs> very, uh, very so, nice. Very good. So a shame. Lawrence, tell us uh, again where you're from. Where did you learn your Yiddish? Ich bin geboren in Montreal, Canada. Ich bin gewen uh, Talmide in die Yiddische Parachulen von uh, Kindergarten bis neunten Jahres. Bis ich bin gewen 14 Jahre alt. Und ich habe gelernt um, Englisch, Französisch, Hebräisch und Yiddish. Wir haben gelernt, in halbe Tag hat man gedacht, reden Englisch und lernen Französisch wie a, a second language. Und halbe Tag hat man gedacht, reden Yiddish und lernen Hebräisch in via second language. Haben wir studiert vier Sprachen. Yeah. Und ich wohne jetzt in Los Angeles. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who was what? What's on, on the agenda, Al? What's next? I think Esther had some more uh, expressions that she was going to share, if I remember right. Is that right, Esther? Yeah, sure. I can share a couple. Uh, okay, I'll I'll give it to you in the Yiddish first, and for those who don't understand, I will translate it to English. Okay, first one. Oste giste biste. Ostenish, gistenish, bistenish. Does everyone get that one? So, oste giste biste. Oste means if you have, giste, you give. So you're somebody. Oste giste biste. Ostenish, if you don't have, ostenish, gistenish, so you don't give. So you're not, you're not, at the, it was a, a, a typical uh, Jewish expression back in the day. Uh, now, I, I, I don't know if I, some of them, I don't know if I said last time, but I hope not. Geld verloiden, gunish verloiden, mut verloiden, alding verloiden. Money lost, nothing, it's okay, money is round. But mood, when you lose your mood, everything is lost. That, that actually is a very good one. Uh, one that my father, may he rest in peace, used to always say, Fool me on the, on the money, but don't fool me on the merchandise. That's a good one too. <laughs> <laughs> well, in other words, you know, you don't mind to pay more if you're getting something good. Okay. Of a friend, because we're all in COVID, maybe this one will uh, do something. Of a friend der Buit is good to, to is good to learn and to share. So <laughs> it means it's good to learn to cut on someone else's beard. That's, somebody else's. <laughs> That's a cute one. Okay, just a minute. I have another one here. I have a lot, but I didn't want to take up everyone's time. Kinder in Gelt is a shine belt. Ah, that you know, dream. children and money make a nice world. That's true. That's also very, <laughs> very well said. Um, now I can tell you, uh, um, that's what I have for now. I don't know where oh, to so start. I have Esther, so many that I, I get overwhelmed with it. Esther, the one you said about what? the beard, the one you used about the beard, you know, it's good to practice your barbering. My bubby used to say a little difference. Just get some pacha and afia and them stockers. Yeah. <laughs> get some pacha and afia and them stockers. It's good to pass yeah. somebody else's family. That's right. That's that's well said. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, you, know, you had a comment. Jeff. Jeff Newton, you had a comment. Uh, no. When she's finished, I've got some expressions uh, and uh, maybe some curses. 
Oh, Ooh. I didn't want to go that way. I'll let you do the curses. <laughs> <laughs> I have, there's a lot here of curses. I was thinking about, but it's not my style to talk, to give the curses. You go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to share this. I think I sent this to Mike, uh, a list of uh, three books uh, that are phenomenal. They're, they're hysterical. Um, one of them is, uh, and I, if Mike still has it, he can send it out, uh, a dictionary of Yiddish slang and idioms. But there's one from here that, believe it or not, my mother, may she rest in peace, used to say, is the rights of the Fords and Russell. <laughs> Which means he's, you know, he's in a fog. He's bewildered, you know, he's all mixed up, but it literally translates um, a, a, a royals around like a fart in Russell. Russell <laughs> is, is a kind of a, it's shab. It's, yeah. it's a sorrel grass suit. So it, and uh, I remember that. <laughs> she also she also used to say, arbis," which literally translate um, it clings to the wall like chickpeas. And you know how they got it. It's sort of an expression. So what? Um, <laughs> the other is. Uh, which oh, yeah. means that's the way the cookie crumbles. It's a krishotza. Uh, yeah. Right. Um, I think everybody knows uh, right. uh, which means it'll help you like cupping a dead person. Yeah. Uh, but I, I have a set of bankas that you do. my grandparents, I do, that my grandparents had. Um, I don't think that was one of the things they brought with them from the old country, but uh, I have uh, bankers. Now you gotta uh, pay to go to a spa and have them do it for you. They have different names for bankers now, but it, you, you pay a premium. Cupping, well, Cupping. Maybe, maybe I'll come out of retirement, but... Uh, <laughs> Um, there is another book, and I, I'm not sure I want to get into this. Some of this is a little bit uh, dicey. Um, oh, yeah, I think I it's, go for it. it's uh, if you can't say anything nice, say it in Yiddish. It's the book of Yiddish insults and curses. Those Leben bis hundred and twenty mit der Hells in them cup in glaze and oigen. You should live to 120 with a wooden head and glass eyes. <laughs> There's nothing like Yiddish curses. Soll sein wie a lump, hanging by tog, brennen by nacht, and when ice gain sollst du in der free. May you be like, may you be a lamp. Hang by day, burn by night, and snuffed out in the morning. <laughs> uh, um, there, <laughs> there was another one. Um, when I was growing up as a kid, we kind of lived in an extended family, Bob and Zadie, uh, my parents. And what do kids do? They go around and they whistle. My grandmother used to say, Cha, Feifnisch, Feifnisch, Matunisch, Feifen. Why I never understood, but you're not supposed to uh, uh, whistle. So you know there's, what? A Yid, there's a Yiddish curse, Ich Pfeife of dir, which means I, I hate you, I despise you, um, which you know, translate literally, I whistle on you, Ich Pfeife of dir. Somebody was going, does anybody know the origin of the well, um, superstition no, about I not just, whistling? Yeah, I just, my mother used to say, Me five, I eat five fish, no going five fish. But that's not and, really true because Catholics are not supposed to whistle. F sure, F sure. Okay. Catholics <laughs> believe that it brings the devil. What about umbrellas? 
Well, they were from Latvia, yeah, from Poland. I think I know the rest. Then, well, then David, there's. Uh, go ahead, David. I once learned from a rabbi, uh, might have been a rabbi, that um, uh, the whistling is the name of an angel. An angel. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. And something to do with an angel. And you're invoking an angel. Something to that effect. You can check with someone. That's what all I know. I have a couple more, but I could go on all night. Uh, I Give think this more. book is well, yeah. it's in, it's current and it's in print. I have um, my hand up, Al. So. So why, why don't you hold on? And because and, there's a bunch of people that have their hands up. Al, do you want to? I, I see Sharon. I see Florence. Somebody else had their hand up. Um, yeah, thank you. So why don't we go to some others and we'll come back to you, Jeff, in a bit. Fine. He doesn't do it. Oh, thank you. He doesn't see it. <clears throat> I don't see hands. I see. I see Sharon. Do you not have your hand up, Florence? Do you have your hand up? Yes. Yeah. If my emissary in chat had your friend from Vanen kommt the tradition to um, have costumes of Purim. I don't know, but I have a picture of this. This is the first grade one in the Yiddish Perichon. This is me. And you see that this is a sign of the Malke and the Melech Ahasuerus. This is 1956. Uh, My mom had gemacht das Kleidel von crepe papier. She had not enough money to buy a vare. She didn't have enough money for cloth, so she made my costume out of crepe paper. But she sewed it on the sewing machine. Oh, wow. I've always said that I've been chat for what I've been costume of Pyrrhum. I explained it in the chat why we wear costumes on. Uh, if, if you read the Megillah story, okay, Hashem is Barach, God is hidden in the story. The miracle of Purim is hidden. It's never revealed. That's also why when we make commentation, the, the dough covers the filling. The filling doesn't show out. It's not revealed. Uh, another reason they give for, for dressing up is because the king clothed Mordechai in royal garments. So that's another tradition. There are three or four others that, that are given. I don't remember all of them. If I stopped the cup off Melton, but those are the two that I remember right off the bat. Joe and Al, rosie has got a poem. Rosie Barkowitz was going to do a Yiddish poem. Oh, where is she? She's here. All right, Rosie. Rosie. I saw her. I don't see her. There, she's right there. You have to take yourself off mute. I did. I was hoping y'all were going to forget me. My Yiddish is nothing like everybody else's. So I think we need to start a Yiddish class in Charleston. I think they teach it at the university. All the way downtown? No. Damn. They don't. They don't. No. All right, I'm going to try, okay? Since Mama can't see, she's making me read it. So Gene Wilder perfectly expresses how he feels about Yiddish. I wish I were fluent, but Wilder's poem is my experience to read to y'all. I surely should be reading this, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> if my mother doesn't yell at me. <laughs> Yiddish was the secret code, therefore I don't verstehe. Abyssala may be here and there, the rest has gone to waste. Sadly, when I hear it now, I only get the gist. My bubby spoke it beautifully, but me, I am submissed. So, Ave, as I should say, or even Ave is near, though my pisk is lacking Yiddish, it's familiar to my air. And I'm no Chaim Yanko. In fact, I, wa I was Shtich Nachas. But when it comes to Yiddish, though, I'm talking out of my tuchas. <laughs> is, is a shenda, it, wait, it is a shenda for the kinder that I don't know it better. 
So it's really Nishka Felif when one needs to write a letter. But when it comes to characters, there's really no contention. No other linguist can compete with honorable mention. They have nevishes, nebuchas, and others without muzzle. Then two schmendricks and schlemiels, and let's not forget schlemuzzles. These words are so precise and descriptive to the listener. So much better than a pill is to call someone for bissener. Or that a brazen woman would be better called Hilaria. I learned that word from y'all. And y'all agree for clamps is more than this hysteria. I'm not hunking to a chinic, and I hope I'm not a fetch. But isn't Mishkai kind of, kinder than to call someone a wrench? Mitten Drenner, I hear Bubby say, it's Nishka talk, don't fair. To me, you're still a maven. I'll shame, sha, don't fill my air. A laven off the Kepala. I don't mean to interrupt, but you are speaking Nishka, Nishka kite and a good presenter nice off thy cup. Oh, yes. <laughs> Now that was, is that Gene Wilder's poem? Yes, yes. I want you all to know Gene Wilder is my first cousin. Oh, oh no. Who's, who's Gene Wilder? Him. Gene Wilder is my first cousin. Bonnie's, Bonnie's first cousin is Gene. Mm -hmm. oh, his I real love. name was... That's something. No, his oh, real name was Silverman, S-I-L-B-E-R-M-A-N. I just sent a donation into Gilda Rabner's club. Thank you. A friend of mine, and I will support it. It's a wonderful thing he has. It is a lovely thing. But yeah. he was a delight. I mean, the whole family, delightful people. Oh, Adrian, and you had your hand up earlier, Adrian. That's a yes. Um, let me see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just a quick one. Um, my wife gave me one of those sticky things you put on the back of your cell phone so that you don't drop it. <clears throat> Okay, this one says, if you have nothing good to say, say it in Yiddish. <laughs> I have a t-shirt that says that. And, and it's on the back of my <laughs> glucose meter it, because my phone has EKG on it. <laughs> I have a t-shirt with that saying, Adrian, but I'm afraid to wear it in most places. <laughs> Al, Al Melvin, Melvin had his hand up. You have to unmute yourself, Melvin. Yeah. Unmute. Can you hear me? Down the space bar. Okay, I'll No. Okay, you're yeah, good. Now, yes. Let me, hit, there I hit it. Okay. okay. You have to hold it. You can't just okay. hit it. All of a show, my parents used to say when they get mad at something, it's all the vox and beyond sibile with the air, cup in the air and the fist in the loft. That's right. That's one of my favorites. Mine too. Any other comments? David, did you have your hand up, David Bukowski? Yes. Yeah. Me? Yeah. When my father would get mad at us, he would reach for his belt and would say, Balzain Krieg for me. And wow. he never did it, but he warned us. What did, what did he say? Balt Zane Krieg from Mia. War? About to see what you could get from me. And my oh, sister yeah. always said he had the, he had the good uh, grace to warn us, and we ran. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Bar Barbara has her hand up. Yeah. yeah. So what David just said reminded me of my dad. Who, uh, when my brothers were misbehaving, he would take off his belt and he would say, "Smell it. Do you do you, do you want to taste it too?" <laughs> and that was <laughs> enough, you want, that was enough to get them back back on track. <laughs> Imagine if they do that today. Imagine uh, if I could say that in school. Oh, but the bottom yeah. lines flag zogen as mischlutten toches es geht schneller rein in Kopf. No, as me as me shlucht and tuches kriegt da kriegt da an the cup. That's right. That's a good, very good, Al. Yeah, well, that's what she used to say, and uh, once and twice. <laughs> 
anyone yeah. else? Go ahead. Any comments? Nope. All right. Oh, Barbara, go ahead. Can't hear you. Speak up. Right. Speak up. On the subject of corporal punishment, my mother was to speak up. We can't hear you. Can you hear now? Yeah. Better. My mother would say uh, on on the subject of corporal punishment that um, a patch uh, a a, a patch for gate in a vault state. That's right. Very good. Yeah. And that, say it in English. Uh, um, a slap vanishes, but a word remain uh, a, a a cruel word remain a cruel word remains. That is that's very good. Ellen, I ask Ellen a favor. Has her hand up. Could I ask a favor? Yes. Betty, would you send me a copy of that if I give you my email or something? Why don't I send it out to everybody? In the, I'm, Great. I'm, Thank I'm, you. I will send out that. I will send I out the books like that it. Jeff suggested. Thank and, you very much. For I will also send out the two uh, songs that uh, uh, Florence shared. So I'll put those all in a in an attachment uh, for the next uh, the follow up after this meeting. Okay. Just all right. Do we have a video to show tonight? Well, we got we got a few hands up, so let's let's get the hands. So we got Ann first, and then Shirley, and then Tova. Okay. Go ahead, Ann. Okay. My mama just told us also because with men and kinder can we not be wise, and my father has said with the na that no. As we speak with the na, they are the na. My mom has given as I have been that he has the Sachen that that she is not only from the dorf, not written as I. So, right. would you speak in English now? My aunt had a saying with that: with your children and with your husbands, you should never show off because they're always going to embarrass you. Right? They're the ones who are going <laughs> to. <laughs> Never <laughs> and my father used to say, if you argue with a fool, who's the real fool? <laughs> my mother, when she would hear these types of sayings, my mother would get so angry and she would scream, you were not raised in a village. We don't talk like this. So it was like, a, it, it was a different uh, mentality about the saying. And this is from a Holocaust survivor, I'm not talking about someone brought up you know, in North America. So, so I was always excited to bring home new sayings to her. She gets so upset. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll tell them. Okay. Yeah. What happened? Uh, oh. Mike and Shirley just lost power. Oh, Mike and Shirley lost power. That's why we lost them. We're having and, a big storm here. And we may lose since I, I think I am a. Uh, uh, You're now the host. I, I think I am a co host. So I think we can continue. If anyone else loses power, we'll say good night to you. But we're, we're, almost, pretty bad we're almost out of time anyway. So I just want to say something. Can I just say one thing? I want to say hi to Anne because we're together. Anne, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. It's Esther, Esther Shear. We're 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 uh, daughters of Holocaust survivors. So in Ms. Toronto, Ms. Ennis Festers, Ms. Ennis Festers. Nice to see you. <laughs> That's a wonderful program. You were I think you were going to tell us more about that program, but we'll have to save it for another. Uh, another. No, I just well, I will tell you we, we had. Um, Joe, I will tell you, we had on uh, Monday night, was it? I don't know if uh, Anne joined in to listen to nope. Erik Felsen. I did. We had 450 people on Zoom from Holocaust survivors, but nobody, we couldn't see everyone. We were just on our own Zoom. You know what I mean? Like, and these uh, were all women. Uh, no, I think they were some men too. There were men there too, but the, the group started as Daughters of Holocaust Survivors. <laughs> And um, uh, Anne, were you on the program on Monday night? I was. It, I actually, I cried because it was so accurate. It discussed the strengths of uh, Holocaust, uh, the second generation, so what we're carrying. And it described our, uh, for me, it described my personality so well 
my husband had to actually get up during part of it and leave. He said he couldn't cope. It was just too intense. But I don't know if yeah. you know, they recorded it and Esther sent out an email so people can listen to it. Irid is a wonderful yeah, speaker. If, if you'd like, I can send it over to Mike Mills. I have his email and maybe he can share it with the group. Oh, that would be wonderful. I would love to see that. Yeah, we have, I would like we have to a, see that. We have it was wonderful. Holocaust. It was really good. It was wonderful. We have children of Holocaust survivors in, in our uh, community and in this uh, also on, on Yiddish Alive. So that would be very interesting. Okay, I will send it to Mike and uh, he'll send it out to everyone else. Okay, so I just saw a That'll question in the chat. Somebody asked, could we do these sessions for more than an hour? And I responded, yes, we can. But most of us don't have that much. Here's a good expression for you. Zitzflesh. We don't have that much <laughs> zitzflesh, which translates to le directly to sitting flesh. Nobody wants to sit that long. And really, that's not the issue. The issue is just so much zooming that people can take. So although we would love to be able to do this for two hours or three or just keep going, it, it really, it, it doesn't work for most people. So that's why we don't. Um, going forward, we are playing with the idea of breakout sessions so that once we get started, those who speak a little bit more fluently and really want to get into it, will be able to go to a breakout room and really chatter it up. Those who are a little bit more, you know, in learning mode, will be able to hang out there and, and you know, crux the guys a little bit, scratch it out a little bit, and we'll be able to do that. In that regard, I want to remind everybody who may not have been here when we started, please, between now and our next session, two weeks from now, make sure you download the most up-to-date version of Zoom, because the older versions cannot do breakout rooms. So you will be eliminated from that possibility. Joe, I give it back to you. Okay, uh, Toba, would you have a comment for us? Toba, you're you're muted. Toba, you're muted. Go I ahead. just want to remind you that the Volksbühne has a Purim spiel, and Ooh, they have awesome. wonderful things. It's uh, uh, you can get on Google already Volksbühne, and it's the twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh. They have theater, music, and play, all in Yiddish. And it's absolutely wonderful. And uh, it's free, of course. So you, you go and, and you Google Purim Spiel. Folks, and uh, a Purim Spiel. I don't know how to do it. I just do it. You know, I, but before I touch my phone, I make a prayer. And I say, Jose <laughs> Ali, you know? Well, Hosea, help me, God help me. And I press <laughs> buttons and sometimes it happens. <laughs> so, I, so, far, <laughs> so far, I must tell you, it happens because my prayers <laughs> go to the right place. But I don't know, it's, you, uh, it folks me, it, you'll find it on, on, on I don't know, on, 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 on anything probably. On, um, uh, anyhow, they have hours. They have different activities, different times, and they have very good actors, by the way. They have the best of the folks being the actors, and it's it's wonderful. I, I, I try to go to all their programs. That's very all I nice. wanted to say. Purim is, uh, it won't be good without them. And you know what's funny? In my life, my grads, it, it used to be a time when you all learn from your grandparents. Me, my grandchildren speak Yiddish if they don't want me to understand something. Tova. <laughs> they, they forget that I speak Yiddish. It's it's really true. They, I have two little grandchildren. They speak to each yeah. other and one says to the other one, don't tell her. <laughs> uh, uh, Tova, I don't know whether you, whether you know, but we have one of the Yiddish theater actors appears on this uh, with us on the Get It Alive. Um, on a case, yeah. No, Yasala, says no sites of event gain. Well, we have, me, Barbara had her hand. I just want to mention when that. Barbara um, had her hand up. Go ahead, Barbara. 
Yeah, yeah I just want to mention that uh, Salman Mlotek, the, uh, the musical director of the Volksbina, uh, has uh, videotaped a lot of songs, a lot of Yiddish songs, some of them very familiar, some of them very un uh, un you know, relatively unknown or unknown at all. And um, I'm happy to forward the link uh, so that you can watch as much or as little as you want of it. Oh, thank you. Send it to send it to me. Yeah, I, I may I may be on it for a second. I have no internet. I'm so I'm doing this through the telephone. So, I'll I I I know I have Mike Mike's email. I'll I'll forward it to him and he can email to you. Okay, I, um, Mike. I would love to know about the second generation for my children. I'm first generation, but they would love it. So if you could get that program, it would be wonderful. All right, Al, you were saying. I'm saying it's a little bit past time. Probably time for us all to say good night. Uh, we may yeah, not have to, to go schlucking yet. I'm going to attach all this. I'm going to get schlucking. Keine Danken. Schluck gesund. Yeah, I like gesund. So you're talking about the program. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. yeah, we are. I'm, I'm through my phone. We, we, are you we having here. a storm, Joe? What? Are y'all having a storm where you are? Yes. Terrible. Not pleasant. Yes. We are too. I'm on Terrible. the island. We're, we're, we're on a generator right now. So we That's lost power. Terrific. They had lost power. Wow. We just, the house just shut. Yeah, so we are on the generator. All right. Yeah, yeah, we had a lightning that just struck outside of us. What, where are you? Where do they live? Charleston, South uh, Carolina. Wow. Yeah, we, Jeff, we, we just had a terrible located, Jeff. Hmm? Where are you located? Uh, right now I'm in New Hampshire. Okay. Y'all have yeah. a lot of snow. Yeah, you get the uh, snow. <laughs> are you skiing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're in Zurich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you know, you know Bob Braitman in, in, in New Hampshire? No. Hmm? You know Bob Braitman? Uh, you're breaking up. Do you know Bob Braitman? Doctor. Dr. No. Braitman? No. no. In New Hampshire. I don't know one of my main partner. <laughs> How'd you get to New Hampshire? By car. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We live in the Boston area okay. and we've been uh, uh, living up here in our vacation home during COVID, a lot less okay. congested. Um, I'm glad to hear you didn't retire to New Hampshire. I am retired, mostly. I, it's a cold mostly. New Hampshire. My husband says nobody... Not in the house, it's not. Nicht in high, it's nicht in steep. <laughs> <laughs> I got one last quick expression that is so apropos to what's going on now in Yiddish. Ein Ligen, Zwei Ligen, Drei Politics. Oh, one, lie, two one, lie. one lie, two lies, three poli uh, politics. You're right. Yeah, don't talk about politics. Oh, you are, you are. <laughs> what accent? Dramadica. What is it? Southern. Is that? Southern. Oh, you should have you all. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I have a mall in Jacksonville, Florida, and I have a Yiddish head with a Dramatic accent. Darom in in Hebraic, Darom is south. We call so it Dramatic. Shalom, y'all. Shalom, y'all. You're right. Have you ever been to Charleston? Yes. Yeah. We speak our own English. 
<laughs> das ist die Amis. Danke. Das ist die Amis, that's a true statement. <laughs> I get the nach. An andere English. I get the wach. Get wach. And you and you still have your hand up. Are you uh oh hey, no I don't know if you look it down? <laughs> How do you How take do it you down? Take you just grab your screen and put it down. No, it, it's it, wherever you raised your hand, there was a button. You just go back to that same place and it says lower hand. The participant screen. No, I, I'm not seeing it. If you go participants, you click on participants at the bottom, you can raise your hand and lower your hand. It gives me the option to mute or rename, please. No, go to the bottom of your screen. Take your curse and put it on the bottom, and then you got a toolbar. Hmm? I did it. I, 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 I did it. I it the left, the very low left. Yeah, I, I was able to do it. I have a, I have some kind of a. a I'm thing on the iPad. It. It's not there. You're the host. They're all. You know, all these are. I, I'm on an iPad now. I'm on a left on a oh. screen, and it's things different. Yeah. Okay, on the iPad, it looks like it's under. Hold on, I'm gonna try. Can I do you mind if I try this? This is yeah, his hand. Yes, now it says Laura. Laura. There you go. <laughs> you. Thank you very much. <laughs> he lives off of the Isle of Palms, Connecticut. Right. Yeah, well, you, I'll leave you all. Have a wonderful Ross, you you power, Ross? No, but it's really lightning all over. I don't know if we're on the generator or not, but we have all to, you know. around me. I'm Maybe. up in Norfolk, Virginia. Oh, that's near um, my friend. Where's Elaine from? Newport. No, she's not from Newport you know News. <laughs> no, Maybe she. Newport News. You know any Winnicks? W I N N. She's from across that. Bridge. Oh, yeah. she's uh she's in newport news maybe she, no she's from portsmouth portsmouth well that's very close to where i live right. in Suffolk, virginia we very have close. a lot of uh, girls that marry charleston boys from norfolk here a lot so if you have lightning i'll get lightning soon oh. yeah maybe maybe in six hours i don't yeah, know it's, it's it's a a bad storm we got a foot of snow today, so I'll trade any of you, okay? Another uh, foot. We already had four feet. Be going yeah, four oh. this is I think we have two feet of rain. And where, where is it? Uh, north of Toronto. Two hours north. north. Wow. Yeah. But you're, you, have, you have snow there 10 months of the year, is that right? I don't know. I'm usually in Florida at this time. Who cares what happens now? <laughs> <laughs> I look out over my dining room, I look over the river, and there's people walking on the ice. Like, what's kind of, what's Nashkai? You know, it's thin. Like, what are you doing? And then you see those snowmobiles going by. It's not for me. I need palm trees, okay? You can look out, you can look out our window. We've got some. We're, not, we're, we're called halfways. We're not quite in Florida. We're just halfway. <laughs> we're, we're, oh, in South Carolina. South Carolina. I drive right through. Where, I know. where in Toronto? Stop here. Stop here. I'm north of Toronto. I'm two hours north. I'm, I live in a place called Wasaga Beach, which is the longest freshwater beach in the world. My niece lives in Toronto, and she's from Miami and met him at a, a camp. He's the, the son of a cantor, and he was the singing music at the camp. And from Miami, she's lived in Toronto for 30 years. And mm -hmm. her name? Her name is, um, what the, what the, oh, um, Michelle. Ian, Ian and Michelle Rohr, R-O-H-R. And she was president of one of the synagogues in Toronto, the round one. They had a new Torah. There's many. Okay. There's many, many. It's, it, it, Toronto has had the largest population of uh, Holocaust survivors other than in Israel, that um, the, the one neighborhood. So we have tons of shuls, uh, lots of Jews. Yeah. Um, it's an interesting mix. Now I've moved up to the country for whatever reason, uh, I wanna go back to the city. 
and I'm, I'm finally starting to get Jews up here. Finally. I thought Toronto but, was beautiful and clean and... It's very congested. It's a big city and they get 140,000 immigrants every year and the city just can't hold it. So it's just, it, it's incredibly busy. And I thought when I retired, okay, so I'll move up to cottage country. But um, she goes to Florida. She goes to Boca in the winter, but not this winter. I'm hoping you, to go down in the next week or two. We've got a place down there we're selling, we're in Deerfield. We're selling one and we're buying a, a larger unit. So I have to go down and pack. So, you know, I feel so sorry for myself. I have to go to Florida, gee. <laughs> We're hoping that we can uh, drive down because there Mike's, aren't lights now. Mike said so that stop in Charleston on your way. Right, we're in between Florida and Toronto. Listen, you guys offer me gala and I'll be there in a heartbeat. I haven't had a really good gala in like 30 years. Wow. Oh, it's silent. You guys don't know what gala is? Well, I'm Southern cuisine. Oh, I know gala. It is. We know what gala is. It's, it's like a cow jello. Oh, it's garlicky and some it, the Polish word is picha. Nothing. How do you know. spell it? How do Gullet. you spell it? Here means something else. Right, that's a language. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, you spell it. I don't know. I'm I'm happy that I can say it. The picha or the gala. It's the same thing. Um, oh, gala. Gala. Yeah. Yeah, Gullah, Gullah here is, is the culture of the African Americans that came in from, um, some of them came in from the islands and Gullah, is, is, it comes from Guyana and something else. I forgot where the word is, but there's a lo long tradition. They paint their houses blue. They speak almost a different language. I mean, it's, it's kind of a mixture of different English with, I don't know what the other languages are, but they also have their own food with wonderful food. And that's not what a a it's a gola. Oh, not gola. It's gola. My, look, at, look it up on the internet. We'll see what Charlestonian. I can make it. I mean, if you all, if you all want to come up here, I can make it. I I cook like an old Jewish woman. That's not an issue. I can make a gala, but nobody eats it. You know, it's you know. I I cook like my mom cooked, probably like my great grandmother cooked. Did very well. Too quiet tonight. <laughs> well, maybe maybe sometime Shirley will show you the book that they put together on cooking. She, she and all the, the, the women that she's friends with put together a book of my mother's recipes. Most of, most of her friends are survivors' children, and so they've got all all sorts of great recipes, and she cooks from that all the time. But you have to come down here. You know, if you if you've had your vaccination, when you come through here, I'm can Canadian. They're not giving us vaccinations. If I'll be very lucky, if by next Christmas I get vaccinated. But whereas I can do it in the states, so go figure. Yeah, you go to Florida. If you have a if you have a residency there, you can get it. We we do we do, and we have to go down anyway. I I can't stand it. We've got four feet of snow here. It's just, you know. Right. It's not for me. I've I've lived through it. I've done it, but four feet of snow, and there's nowhere to go anywhere. We're on lockdown, so where would you go anyway? Does do gullows look like matzo balls? No, it's um, it's the cow hoof that's boiled down with lots of garlic and salt and pepper. Uh, my one of my aunts used to put parsley in it because she wanted it green, but it was like horrible. And it out, and you let it solidify in the fridge overnight. You take off, you skim off the, the major fat off the top, and you eat it either with lemon or with vinegar. And it's lovely. It's it's really lovely. I make a gaha. They be like my mother. I make I make every you know. I unfortunately I can't. My mother used to make these amazing kugels these um, fruity cheese, cannot do it. Cannot for the life of me. My cousins figured it out, you know, know how to do my mother's kugels, but me. So, so Shirley said she would, calls it. Would you mind, would you mind, just, would you mind yeah. distributing the, the recipe? Could okay, you distribute the, the recipe? 
Garla. Sure. Garla is what Shirley calls it. Garla. Oh, we call it Garla. And she said very peppery. Oh, we did it very garlicky. With us, it was like the chunks of garlic because you grind down a little bit of meat that comes off the bones and the garlic together, you, tons of garlic. If you think you've put in enough garlic, put in 10 times exactly what you put in. It's tons of garlic. You grind it all up, put it in the fridge. Next day, you just um, skim off the top. You cut it into pieces. It's an appetizer. You eat it so, with a little bit of bread. Send it to me. I'll send it up through. Do you have the recipe? Do you have a recipe written? I'll write it out. Write it out, yeah. I'll write it out. No and problem. distribute it. Thank you. Absolutely. No problem. It's always better if somebody else makes it, though. You know that. What? It's always better when somebody else makes it and they have to clean the pots in their house. <laughs> you said it's a cow's hoof? Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Now, I've heard of chicken feed, but not cow's hoofs. No, chickens feed totally different. Totally different. You can't use chicken feet? I'm sorry? You cannot use the chicken feet? That's so Chicken feet is not as good as, as cows. My love is the, the cow's foot. I, you know, that was like the big deal. But there would be, a, I, I guess it would mainly be in the fall that my mother and my aunt make it. I would go like from house to house. You know, tasting everybody's. My mother's, of course, was that because it was my mom. But uh, <laughs> you know, Slovka is under heat. We all had to uh, get the knock. Get the knock. The knock in two weeks. We'll see. Everybody said whatever you would like to be sent out. And uh, sorry for the interruption. You know, somebody spoke out here. God spoke and shot the lightning out. <laughs> Take care. Good night. Uh -huh. I'm going to have some